Namaste Chair Yogis, it's Claire here and today I'm going to take you through a share yoga practice that can will be great for calming your nervous system. In today's day and age, as you know, we are so busy, we're rushing here and there all the time, we hardly have time to think or breathe or feel anything. So it's really important that we balance out all the fast activities that we're doing with some gentle and slow activities or even with complete rest. So this practice will be wonderful for just bringing a little bit of peace and calm to your nervous system and for helping you feel great, relaxed, restored and rejuvenated. So of course we begin our practice in sitting mountain. So coming towards the front edge of the chair, making sure that you have space behind you on the seat taking your two fists, bringing them in towards each other and letting the feet and the knees be hips distance apart. Tailbone goes down, the breastbone rises, the shoulders roll up and back and down into your back. The chin just parallel to the floor. Let's begin our practice today by gently closing the eyes or perhaps letting your gaze be low. And you might like to have your hands resting down on your lap or a little bit more grounding. Bring the awareness, first of all, to the base of your feet. Notice all of the places of your feet that are touching the ground, the tips of your toes, balls of your feet, the heel and the outer edge. how you connected you feel to the earth below, how supported. Notice the legs coming up out of the feet, through the knees to the hips, and the pelvis, the sit bones, grounded on the seat, feeling quite even, forward and back, side to side. Noticing the spine, that rises from the tailbone, bone by bone, through the lower back, middle back, upper back, and then the base of your skull through your neck. Notice that the spine feels quite supported, long and tall. And allow your shoulders to be centered into your back. Hands resting lightly on the lap, the face is soft, and the head just floats above the shoulders, just like a little balloon. In the center of your body, there is your torso. Notice the space of your torso from the collarbones right down to the tailbone and pelvis. how the breath flows into this space. With every inhalation, there's this sense of expanding and deflating of the torso. Notice how the breath flows out into all different directions, front and the back, the side, the ribs, maybe even the belly expands as you inhale softens as you exhale. And with every round of breath, there's a sense of space and softness. For the next few rounds of breath, just simply following the breath. This gentle, rhythmic flow expansion and softening.
and come back into this space. Now grounding down your feet into the floor, take your shoulders up towards your ears. As you exhale, slide the shoulders down in the back. And on the inhale, slide the shoulders up and slide them down. And again, sliding up the shoulders and down again. And turn the palms up and gently open the hands to the side. Keep your elbows on your waist and cross the hands over in front. Notice how the shoulder blades move in and out with each time you move your hands. One more time, opening out and coming back in. And then gently opening one more time, press the hands downwards towards the earth and inhale, draw the hands up towards your armpits and exhale, press the hands down. On the inhale, draw the hands up and on the exhale, pressing down. Then let your arms float up either shorter or longer and float them back down again. Maybe now you'll feel your shoulder blades going up and out and back and down. Now one more time. And exhale. Now bringing your hands to your thighs, breathing in. As you exhale, lean out of the hips with a long spine. On your inhale breath, lift your heart, hug your shoulders back. On your exhale, let your tailbone move towards the chair as you lean back, keep the feet grounded. On the inhale, forward, lifting the heart. And on the exhale, coming back. Just lengthening the front and then the back of the spine. One more round of this. As you exhale, gently rotating the ribs towards the left. And inhale, center. And exhale towards the right. And inhale, center. And again towards the left. And inhale, center. And to the right, one more time. And from there, bringing the hands to the hips, breathing in. As you exhale, a gentle twist, uh, side bend towards the left. Inhale, center, grounding the feet into the floor. And one more time to the left. And one more time to the right. And coming back into the center, the hands can come back to the thighs. Press down into your left leg. Let your right leg slide long along the floor. Point the toes and then flex the foot and let the knee bend as well. We get a little joint action into the ankle, the knee and the hip. Lifting and lowering and then slide that leg back in towards you. Pick your, up, your leg up onto the tippy toes and open the knee to the side and then gently bring the knee back in. Opening the knee and gently bring it back. To take your time, there's absolutely no rush. Back into neutral and lower the heel. Let's slide the left leg out, grounding down the right, pointing and flexing the toes. Sliding that leg back in again, rise up onto the tippy toe point and open the knee, exhaling to come in and again opening up and exhaling and one more time and exhale and slowly bring your feet back down to the ground. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, fold forward out of the hips again. Either keep your hands on your knees or perhaps slide them down your legs to your ankles. On your inhale breath, press into the balls of your feet and lift your heels. On your exhale, lower down. On your inhale, lift. Remember to keep space in your spine. 
top to tail so that you can breathe deeply and fully and completely. Now let's press up, hands come back to the thighs, gently lift the spine. Take a breath here in Sitting Mountain to reset. Begin to heel toe your feet out and they may go out just a little or they may go out a lot. Keep the ankle and the knee lined up with each other and also the middle toe knee and hip bone. Now from here take a big breath in as you exhale press into the ground and let the spine bend forward. Now you may keep your hands on your sides or maybe you'll let them lift off coming together at the heart centre. Keep the spine long, breathe into all the spaces of your lungs. On your next inhale, press through your feet and start to rise up. Bring the hands back down to the thighs. Let's now extend the legs a little more. And again, you can take your legs out as far as feels comfortable for you. Pull the toes back, maybe externally rotating at the hips just a little. Bring your hands to the back of the chair, lift the heart. If you'd like to, you can tilt forward out of the hips, keeping the spine long. If that doesn't feel good, just stay tall. Remember to engage the muscles here to protect the knee joint. Keep the breath flowing. Calming the breath, calming the mind, calming the body, emotions. Just taking another three rounds of breath here. Your next inhale, start to press into those feet gently arise if you're tilted slowly draw your legs back into the center heel toe the legs back now into sitting mountain keep your left leg grounded and start to open your right knee bring the leg out so that the knee out towards the right wall and you can keep your right foot there or maybe bring it a little closer you might like to cross it over you may even like to pick it up and place it up on top of the knee. Remember that wherever you are today is perfect for you, so choose your level of flexibility. In saying that, if you'd like to stay here, please do. Today, I'm going to take my level of flexibility at the ankle. Now, bringing the hands up to the heart center. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows down. Perhaps let your eye gaze just cast downwards towards your fingertips. You may even like to close your eyes. Begin to feel the breath within you once more. Notice how it takes up all the space within the torso when you inhale. And with the exhale, is a sense of softening. And here, just simply following the breath for a few more rounds. to now lift your gaze and slowly bring your hands back down to your lap. Gently take your right foot off and place it back to the floor to sitting mountain. Take a breath here, pause and then pressing into the right leg open the left knee and find your level of flexibility for your tree on the left side. Remember, we may be in different places, but neither of them are better or worse than the other. 
wherever you are is perfect for you today. Hands to the heart center. Soften the shoulders. Soften the elbows down. Allow the gaze to drop. To soften. Or completely close the eyes. Nothing really to do now, but simply follow your breath. Notice how soft and calm the breath is. How easily it flows out of you. Taking a few more rounds of breath here. And when you're ready, gently lifting the gaze and slowly lowering the hands back down. Unravel your foot now to bring it up and back into sitting mountain. Take a breath here to just absorb the benefits of the tree and notice the effects. From here, breathing in. You exhale, start to walk your feet out gently in front. You may like to draw the toes up or leave them down, completely up to you. Breathing in tall and as you exhale, coming out of the hips, drawing back the shoulders and the chin comes down so that it's about a fist distance away from your chest, keeping crown to tail very long. If you feel comfortable to stay where you are, feel free. If you would like to come down a little further close to the belly to the thighs, and perhaps you can slide your legs further, your hands further down your legs, remembering that everyone may have a different place to be. And isn't that great? Because we are all so different. to breathe into the back of the body. How all the spaces on the back of the body expand and then deflate with each breath. Begin to draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Let the heart lift and walk your hands back up your legs if you walked them down. Slowly bringing the feet in now a little closer to you back to sitting mountain. Now you can either keep your feet hips distance apart in sitting mountain or maybe a little wider if you feel you would like more space in the centre. We're going to breathe in here. On your exhale breath, folding forward once more over the legs. And then letting the hands, if you want to, move back so that the knuckles are placed upon the chair with the palms facing upwards, fingertips pointing to the wall behind you. Then you can let your shoulders roll out and your head fall down, if that feels okay on your neck. Otherwise, just keeping up the long spine. Once again now, you might feel that beautiful breath into the back of the body. Expanding and deflating all the spaces on the back of the body. Just spending a few more rounds of breath here. Next, start to draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Bring the hands gently back to the thighs 
and slowly press back up. Take your time. Now bringing the feet back into sitting mountain. Go into a little meditation here. If you'd like to, you can stay seated tall, or perhaps you'd like to move back and rest on the back of your chair. Remember, you could put a cushion behind you if you need. And if your feet don't reach the ground, something under the bottom of the feet may be nice here also. During this meditation, I'll invite you to take chin mudra, taking the sum across the first knuckle of the index finger, the one closest to your fingernail, and then placing the hands downwards. When we take our thumb and index finger together, we can make a connection between the self and the spirit, God, universe, whichever you call it by. By placing the hands down onto the lap, we offer a, a connection back to the earth and a sense of grounding. If this doesn't feel nice for you, then don't worry about the mudra. You can just release your hands and take whatever position feels good for you. And now simply just closing the eyes again or taking your gaze home. Begin to bring awareness now again into the bottom of your feet. Notice how they're connected to the earth all the places that are touching the earth and perhaps the spaces in between. Notice the legs as they come up out of the feet to the pelvis. And the sit bones grounded on the chair. Noticing the spine as it climbs up to the back of your neck all the way to your spine and the shoulders, how they settle down into your back. The arms and hands are soft, resting on the lap. The head simply just floats above the shoulders, the face, the chest, the throat, are very soft. Now with the eyes closed, you can bring your inner vision to the space of your third eye, the space in between your eyebrows. If you prefer not to do this, just keep your awareness on your breath. With the inner vision gently resting on the space of your third eye, just allowing all other distractions thoughts to simply just float away while sometimes a thought may come in it's okay at this point in time there's no need to follow it get caught up in it at this point in time just simply focusing the awareness on the third eye space
like to stay here a bit longer, feel free. Whenever you feel ready, you can return. If you'd like to return with me now, just bringing awareness back to the breath. Beginning to follow the breath inside the space of your body. Allow the breath to gently draw you back into your physical body. Becoming aware of all the places that are connecting to surfaces. Aware of the density of your body, the weight. And then let the breath flow down to your fingers and toes and gently give them a little wiggle, just starting to awaken the body with some light movements. If you want to take any other stretches or movements, you don't have to open your eyes, you can just move in a way that feels good for you in this moment. When you're ready to gently, softly blinking the eyes back open, we'll draw our hands up to the heart center. Let's bow our eyes to the heart in gratitude for ourselves, for the beautiful, kind, loving, compassionate people that we are, and acknowledge ourselves for taking the time to nourish and support ourselves from within. And let's honour each other by bowing and saying Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.